<laughs> right. Um, was that good? Yeah. Good. A curve has parametric equations x equals 2 plus t squared y equals 40. 40, not 40. Find dy by dx in terms of t. Oh, this is great. This is... This, oh. oh, it's all locked. This is just what we do, isn't it? Um, locked, and I am writing it there. That is not a good start. Sorry, right, so we start by doing dx by dt to get 2t. We do dy by dt to get 4. We then do dy by dx, which is that one divided by that one. So we've got 2 and 3. <laughs> Look at that. Great. Um, a nice two marks. Part 2. Find the equation of the normal at the point where t is 4, giving your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. So to find the normal, we need x coordinate, y coordinate, and gradient. So let's work through those things. Um, if t equals 4, x is 2 plus 4 squared, so that is 18. Y is 4 times 4, so that is 16. And the gradient, divided by the x, is 2 over 4, which is a half. Now that would be the gradient of the tangent, wouldn't it? And we've been asked for the gradient of the normal, or the equation of the normal to the curve. So the normal gradient is the negative reciprocal of that. So that would be minus 2. Turn it over and change the sign. So we've got... Gradient x and y, so y minus y1 is m x minus x1, giving us y minus 16 is minus 2x plus 36. So y is minus 2x plus 52. Yep, yeah, and we had to give it in that form. Do we agree with that? Are we happy with that? Uh, find the Cartesian equation of the curve. So for part three, uh, what have we got up here? X is 2 plus t squared. Y equals 4t. So this is just about eliminating t. Um, wait, it seems like an easy way to go with this is to say that t equals y over 4. From, from that expression there. So let's substitute x is 2 plus y over 4 squared. x is 2 plus y squared over 16. Um, I don't know that that is the Cartesian equation. It's not particularly nicely written. You could leave it like that. Um, we could write 16x minus y squared equals 32. That's probably quite a nice way of writing it. Um, I think I'm going to go with that. I wouldn't write it as y equals the square root of something. A little bit as an implicit function rather than. <coughs> Happy? If you think what we've just done, actually, that was quite an easy few marks, wasn't it? That was a great question for Mr. Boyle. Um, and worth only seven marks. Right. And that's math.